10 lights are powered by the battery bus. The only one that is the 11 lights is the wheel well light that is powered by AC trumpet bus number one. So remember, if you use AC trumpet bus number one, there is no wheel well fire detection. The normal uh, wheel uh, for the engines and APU, fire detection uh, or fire protection. Fire detection is coming from the battery bus. Fire protection, half battery bus, good? So when you do a fire and overheat test, you're gonna get 11 lights if you have AC power. Which are the 11 lights? Now, we go to the front here. Remember, you start from left to right, okay? The same thing. So you're gonna get, now you can stay there, stay there. I'm gonna go there now in a minute. So you're gonna get the fire warning, that's one, okay? Master caution, that's number two. Overheat, number three. Master caution, number four. Fire warning, number five. So five in the front, six in the back, if you have AC. If you don't have AC, it will be five here, okay? So left to right again. So it will be the overheat, that would be number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number 10, and 11. You see that? So six in the back. Normally I like to draw like a little hat. Okay, that makes it a little bit easier to remember. Remember that, you just do here. You see? It's like a little hat. You know? So if you have only DC, then you take the hat off. See? So then it would be straight. That's good to remember. So if you don't have AC power, then it will be 10 light. Five in the front, that's the same thing, left to right. Fire warning, master caution, overheat, master caution, overheat, that's five. And then you come to the back, overheat six, number one here, seven, okay, eight, nine, and 10. That's if you don't have AC power, because remember the wheel well is powered by AC transfer bus number one. Okay? Now, why we like to teach you to count these lights? Because if you have AC, it's 11 lights. But what about if you count 12 lights? Oh man, that's the problem. Now, now you count five in the front, now you come here. Six, seven, right? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Uh-oh, something is wrong here. Because one, you know, I learned in one step prep, it was only 11 lights, not 12 lights. So let me count again. Five, and again, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, here we go, the fault light. Remember that the fault light only comes on when you do the fault and in out test. So if you count 12 light, that's why we like to teach you to count the 11 light, because if you count 12 light, and you, the fault light is on, it's telling you that one of the engine loops, right? One of the fire loops are inoperative. Now, which one it is, okay? So now that's what we're gonna do here in a minute now. So what you do is, Normally you have the overheat detectors number one and number two, and you're gonna put it in the A loop. And then you're gonna look at the fault light. If the fault light remains off, then the A loop on number one engine is good. Now you're gonna do the same thing on number two. You're gonna put it in the A loop. And you're gonna look at the fault light. The fault light remains off. Now you're gonna go back to normal on number one and number two, and now we're gonna test the B loops for number one and number two engine. Once you go to number two B loop, fault light remains off, number two engine B loop, and then the fault light came on. That's telling you that number two engine B loop is in See that? That's how you troubleshoot this system when the fault light is on, when you count 12 lights. Now, what about if you get to the same? That's when all this stuff happens, right? The same, pretty much. Anything can happen in the same. So you get